Hello everybody, welcome to the beautiful Judean hills of Israel. This is your host Avi Abelo. It is Friday. The Sabbath is about to begin here in the Holy Land in just a little over an hour. And like I titled this video, it is the greatest Sabbath of them all. And I am not joking. So what do I mean by saying that it is the greatest Sabbath of them all? It's simple. The actual name of this Sabbath in the Jewish calendar is the Great Sabbath. Anyone who knows Hebrew, the Hebrew is Shabbat HaGadol. Shabbat is Sabbath. Gadol means big. So it is the biggest or the greatest Sabbath of them all. So the question is, why is this one Sabbath officially called the Great Sabbath? Right? No other Sabbath is called that. Every other Sabbath is normal. But this Sabbath is called the greatest Sabbath in the Jewish calendar year. So believe it or not, folks, it's a very simple reason. It's not because there's anything more special about this Sabbath over any other Sabbath in the world, in the, in the year, but on the Jewish historical calendar, a great thing happened on this Sabbath. Now, to understand the Jewish calendar, anyone who was, and again, well, if you're Jewish and you know this information, great. If you're not Jewish, then I'm going more into the details so you can understand too. A week from today is the Passover holiday. Anyone familiar with the Jewish calendar and what Passover is all about is the celebration of the exodus of the Jewish people from slavery in ancient Egypt to freedom, right? The Jews were slaves for hundreds of years under Pharaoh in ancient Egypt, and we are the first people ever to escape slavery from that from that ancient kingdom and it's miraculous in and of itself so we celebrate the passover holiday remembering our freedom of our being a people and uh, and and being freed from the slavery of egypt next week so why is this the great sabbath well this day on the Jewish calendar on the 10th of Nisan, right? The Jew, we have a Jewish calendar, a month, a different calendar than the regular Gregorian calendar. And all of our holidays are according to the Jewish calendar. On this day, the 10th of Nisan, back when the Jews escaped slavery from Egypt and were, went to freedom, it was on the Sabbath. So tradition teaches us that the day the Jews escaped Egyptian slavery was the Sabbath, was this day, the week before the celebration of Passover. Well, we celebrated a week later. So the Sabbath before the Passover holiday is always called, always called the Great Sabbath. Now, I'm gonna give you even more depth. So we already explained that the reason it's called great is because of the great miracle of freedom the Jewish people experienced but by being freed from the slavery of the Egyptian empire. But let me tell you something else, folks. Back in the Egyptian empire, again, the Pharaoh was, was, was a god and there were lots of other gods. One of the gods of Egypt at the time was the Lamb. Now, when God freed the Jewish people from the Egyptian slavery, he told them to take as a sacrifice a lamb, a lamb offering as a thanks to God. Now, guess what? Can you imagine taking a god of your existing culture and sacrificing it? That's blasphemous. That is that you can be put to death for doing such a thing. You are taking a god, something revered by your host culture, and slaughtering it and sacrificing it. So the other miracle that makes this Sabbath great is was on that day that the Jews were freed from Egypt thanks to God's hand. They took a lamb, Egyptian god, 
a lamb. They took this lamb, which was a god for the Egyptians, and slaughtered it and offered it as a sacrifice. And again, when you say offered it as a sacrifice, they basically made a barbecue and they ate it, right? Because we Jews, we celebrate over food and we give thanks over food. We eat. And back then too, so they made this sacrifice to God with this lamb and then they ate. They had a nice hearty meal, which we continue to this day every year on Passover to commemorate. And it's miraculous that the Jews at that time were able to take a lamb and kill it and eat it when at that time it was considered a god to the Egyptians and blasphemy. So that is the reason Jews call this Sabbath the Great Sabbath throughout the year. And it is we use this Sabbath to prepare for the celebration of Passover next week where we retell the story of our freedom because we, the Jewish people understand that in order to maintain a culture alive, you have to retell the stories of our history. That is our culture. That's how we give it over to our children so they can give it over to their children and their children and their children. That is why even though we've been a persecuted people for thousands of years in exile, we have survived as a people and we have returned to our homeland in Israel because year after year we retell the story of our ancestors, even the story of the uh, freedom from slavery from the Egyptian Empire thousands of years ago. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson for the Sabbath, this great Sabbath that we're about to experience. Any of you who are Jews listening, well, I wish you Shabbat Shalom from the beautiful land of Israel. Any of you who are not Jewish, I hope this uh, enriched you a little bit more with knowledge about the Jewish people and the Jewish culture, and you get to see the beautiful holy land of Israel where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob walked thousands of years ago. They walked these hills right behind me. And with that, folks, thank you so much for listening and for following. And Shabbat Shalom. Make it a great weekend. Whether you're Jewish or Christian or Muslim or atheist or anything, spend the weekend with your family and friends and make it quality time and disconnect from everything else and connect with what is important to you and appreciate it. With that, folks, Shabbat Shalom from the Holy Land of Israel.